Today I'm going to show you how we are going to clean and repaint this grout. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty grimy and um, dirty. So um, uh, white grout is to me is always questionable for, <laughs> for floors because floors get so dirty. So we're going to clean it first um, and then to kind of prevent or to not have to be upkeeping it, cleaning it so often, we're going to actually um, paint it. Um, so first we're going to use um, Barkeeper's Friend um, to clean uh, in the grout. Um, I'll probably just use an old toothbrush or something to brush it. And then um, we're going to use this product, which we got at Lowe's. It's called Grout Refresh. And this is a grout colorant and sealer in one. And we got it in this gray color. Um, so we will be attempting that and let you know how it goes. Hector, I don't think this grout was white. I think it was this peach, just this peach color. Well, I guess if you can make it all look that peach color. sections now and um, at first I thought this grout was white but I don't think now after cleaning it for a little bit I don't think it was white to begin with I think it was this like peach color um, I've been using the barkeepers friend and yeah it brightens it up a little bit so this is all grout that I've done already or cleaned and then this would be a spot that I haven't cleaned so it does look a little cleaner but there's still some spots like you can see here I scrubbed really hard and I just can't get rid of some of this um, so I'm just gonna do the best that I can and as long as the grout is clean and is able to uh, the paint is able to bind then you know that should be good enough it does seem to be cleaning it so hopefully when we come in with the colorant um, it will it will be clean enough for that so okay so we've cleaned it the best that we can let me show you um, again it's not perfect but it I will say it, it, it I mean it's a little cleaner um, these spots, I'm pretty sure they're just maybe mold. So we did spray some bleach to clean it up, let it soak a little bit, but I think this is pretty much as clean as we're gonna get. Um, so now we're gonna try using the colorant and um, we're gonna, or I'm gonna make some noise over there. I'm gonna um, kind of paint it on and let it sit and um, we'll see how 
how that method works. The way I did this was I would squirt some of the colorant out of the bottle onto the grout and then paint with uh, some craft brushes that I had. I wasn't too careful to keep the colorant within the lines of the grout because if it got on the tile, it does come off the tile pretty easily so long as you let it dry. I struggled a little bit with a method in the beginning because I was just trying to follow the bottle instructions which had minimal set times and I found out pretty quickly that if you didn't let it sit long enough it just made a big mess when trying to clean it up off the tile so letting it sit as long as possible is the best way to go. As you can see, if you let it sit long enough, it comes off so easy with even just a finger off the tile. Wish I would have known that a little earlier, but now I know for next time. Later on, we also painted and did some other updates to the bathroom, but we didn't record that, so I'll be posting final pictures at the end of this video.